morning everybody Joseph Anderson here um, today I'm going to actually be changing out a condenser fan motor a single pole contactor and a three pole contactor on a uh, five ton York system it's a heat pump so here is the unit that we're actually going to be changing the condenser fan motor um, if you notice here is the condenser fan motor it's a quarter horse um, then we have a single pole contactor 40 amp with a 24 volt coil if you notice on there coil voltage is 24 volts this one here is a three pole it's for actually for your compressor um, it's a 40 amp you know 24 volt coil so that's what we're going to be doing that today so I'll go ahead and go through the stuff I'm actually going to be doing well here is the motor where it sits so first we're going to have to take off it's of course the these screws here they actually lift this thing up and then after that then we'll be taking off these nuts here so we can actually remove the motor all right so i actually got it removed if you notice i just flipped it over it's because it was actually this part was fit face down so i just flipped it over on top of here what we're going to do first we're going to undo this that's what holds your fan blade in place so we need to take this one off first take the fan blade off first and then after that then we can start unmounting the the motor itself all right, so we got the, the blade off of the shaft now. Um, I recommend before taking off, just kind of clean up the shaft a little bit, either with some sandpaper or a file, just clean it up. Um, put some type of oil like this, WD-40, something um, to actually make it slip off a little, little easier for you so you don't have to um, try to knock it or hit it off. Um, but yeah, it just gets, built up with rust and everything else so it's actually a good idea before you actually take out the the blade is like i said just take some sandpaper sand it down real good take a file whatever you got a brush and then just put some oil either um just regular oil or like wd-40 and then you could just keep turning the the head while you're putting the screwdriver on or a crescent wrench on this you notice there's a flat side on there so you can actually take it there and see how it kind of turns it and then you can hold the the motor on top and just keep twisting it like this so the motor comes off all right so we got the new motor mounted um just like how we took off the other one it has four four uh, nuts on the other side you just have to unscrew them remove the motor put the new one down put the nuts back on and then it's mounted like that on here if you notice we have black brown white and then a brown with a white all we need on here is the the brown the solid brown the black and the white um, on here it's actually different because this is actually the the exact motor that came with this unit they just actually put a aftermarket uh, motor on here so on this one here you notice we have black purple and brown so we're going to use black to black purple to white because that's your neutral see that this one's your neutral so we're going to use purple as your neutral and then we're going to use the brown to the solid brown and then that's it that should be it um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the wires through there if you notice right there I'm going to run them all the way through so then we can attach them inside so then uh, you know what I mean so we're not just putting wire nuts or anything on these so I'm just going to run those things all the way through and that should be it so wherever black is that one's going to go wherever the white is the purple is going to go and then the solid brown to the solid brown and that's it you get rid of the this one right here and then put a new cap and it should be good to go all right so i got the motor intact if you notice the blades on make sure your uh blades on nice and tight so yep it's up all together there i ran my wires through here kind of tape it up so then it's not moving so much ran it through here um, my black wire went to my contactor oh, right here this one this one right here went to my contactor the purple went to the common on my cap and my brown went to the other side of the cap so that's all that's all you need to do is you got to use purple as your common brown is for your your fan for on your cap it's because so you have to have power in power out and then this is actually the the black wire is your speed wire so that's your high speed so yep that's pretty much it on that one i'm gonna 
after I'm gonna run it for a little bit just to let it kind of cool down the space before I actually change out these once it cycles back off I'm gonna shut it down again and I'm gonna change out the three pole contactor and the uh, two pole contactor right here so all right so I got actually running now you can tell fan spinning pushing air out that's exactly what we want I'm just actually letting it run for a little bit um, just to kind of cool down the space a little bit and then I'm going to uh, shut it down once it cycles off and I'm going to change out the contactors um, like I said the single pole and the three pole contactor but for right now it seems to be working fine I changed the cap it's a 5 micro microfarad uh, run cap for the fan so yeah I'm just going to let it run until it cycles off and then we'll go from there alright so these are going to be the contactors we're going to change out this one here if you notice it's got a little bit of burnt right there you see that white that's actually you know it burning up right there a little bit and on here if you look behind those contacts behind there they're actually black so they're actually overheating um, this is right here is for your uh, your compressor and your condenser fan so it's very important to change out that one when you change out your your uh, either your compressor or your condenser fan and then this one here will be for your indoor blower um, so yeah we're gonna ahead and switch out both of those ones this one down here seems like it's okay um, like it was changed recently um, so we're just going to concentrate on these two right here all right just one more thing um, I recommend if you know you're just starting off and you you know know where all these wires go I would get just get the new contactor put it aside like maybe up here um, start with like these ones here take one off put it onto the other one just like for like put the middle one put it in the middle put the green in the bottom you know what I'm saying and then just do all this side first pull this one plug it in plug it into your new contactor just go one for like for like and same thing on this side once you get you know most of it off you can actually um, take off this contactor and then put the other one set it right up there and then it's got two screws right there a Phillips on that side and a Phillips on that side so um, pretty much just go like for like just take your time one for one red on top black in the middle and green on the bottom same thing on this side just kind of look at it okay it's black blue and yellow so just do that black at the bottom blue in the middle and then uh, yellow on top and just continue doing that way just like for like all right so we got them both changed out um, like I said here's the three pole single pole um, here's the old ones it just a little little pivot on the inside of that coil and same thing on this one it's actually a little burnt inside there um, it's actually a good good thing to change whenever you change like a compressor or a condenser fan motor it's actually very very smart to change them because they get a lot of wear and tear you know by up and down up and down up and down up and down so it's actually uh, you know see how it's pulling it in that's what it does all day you know pulls in for when they you get your 24 volts right here this is right here is your 24 volts these these four right here are 24 these are your high voltage so it's th on this one it's 480 so you got 24 volts when it's energized boom it um, adds 24 volts to that coil the coil gets energized and pulls in your contact just like that pulls it in like that so after time these little contacts inside actually start wearing down and they don't actually meet right um, so yeah it's actually a good idea whenever you uh, change out main components like condenser fan motors compressors it's actually very smart to change these out because you don't want to have to come back after the compressor's been changed out or the fans or anything like that and have to come back because uh, um, it's actually sticking or it's not pulling in all the way so you're not getting your full voltage so um, on here if you notice there's L's and T's the L is your line voltage your line voltage is coming from down here into the unit it feeds voltage from a breaker to your unit so you want to put these ones on your line voltage and the T is your is your uh, terminals um, your uh, for your load your load is you know once this thing pulls in is this automatically has voltage once there once the disconnects on this already automatically has voltage there's voltage here nothing here so once that 24 hits boom pulls that contactor in sends the voltage this way and then everything else starts up your fans your compressors indoor blowers so um just kind of look at that and say okay line voltage you're, these are your terminals these are your terminals one two and three so 
Uh, yeah, just make sure you wire it up like this is your line voltage. And if you ends up making a mistake and it's swapped the other way, all you have to do is take these screws out, flip this cover around, put it on, and then it'll do the same thing. Um, so, yeah, um, that's pretty much it on this one. We'll go ahead and start it up, and that should be good for now. All right, so that's it for this one. Um, the next thing is just to get it started up, get the people cooling downstairs, and, uh, yeah, we should be good to go. Um, I will be uploading um, new videos probably most likely every day every other day um, just you know the more service calls I take the more calls or the more videos I can make um, so please if you have any comments or questions please leave at the bottom of my page and and subscribe to my channel thanks again guys bye